All right, we got a nice charcoal, got the lighter fluid, got the backup fire extinguisher just in case you don't knock some of them. Come on now. All right, got the charcoal right down the center. Got that pile going. Gonna get that lighter fluid on now. Come on now, nice and explosive. Oh, 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 wait a minute now, it's a fresh bottle. Fresh bottle, hold on now. Hold on now, there you go, right there. Fresh bottle. Yeah, hey, on this beautiful Sunday. Beautiful Sunday. Now, the family reunion was yesterday. The family reunion was yesterday. It went real good. Got to meet a bunch of people in my family that, that grew up on me. Wait a minute, hold on. Somebody over here yelling already. Hold on now. You want me to grill? You want me to grill? You want to do it? Back to it. And you're gonna get all this nice and soaking wet. Just like this. Okay, here we go now. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Get it nice and wet. And we're gonna let this sit a good 10 minutes. And we'll be back to the fire. We'll be... Alright, so I went with these long matches right here. Just like the end of it. Toss it right on in there as y'all can see the stick right there. Something simple. It's a good fire right there. It's a real good fire right there, and you can smell it. The whole neighborhood can smell it. And we're gonna let that sit right there until them charcoal start to ash over these travels. You hear that? You gotta wait till it turn white. Let it burn. It's a perfect fire right there. Nah, we didn't use too much lighter fluid. We used just enough for that perfect fire right there. If you want it perfect now, and you want me to grill, they want to grill. Now, which one is it? Now, we need to choose now. You want me on the grill? You want to be on the grill. You want me on the grill. It's got to be done right. It's only one way to do it right. Now look at that fire right there. Look at that right there. Yeah, that's a fire right there. We can walk away from that. We can walk away from that right there, driver. It's just going to burn. Oh, driver's just going to burn. Look at that fire right there. Look at that fire right there. We ain't even got it yet. We just going to walk away from that. We can walk away from that. All right, we back. I'm talking about the whole neighborhood can smell it right there. You see all that smoke right there? Probably can't see it on camera. You can't smell it either. That's a fire right there. Now, it's still going. It's still going. Look on the inside of that right there. You see it? Yeah, you see it? We got that fire going on this beautiful Sunday. Got Andrew out here on the grill. Yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah. Man, I just went to Walmart. Walmart up the street right here. Got a bunch of oil, thirteen dollars each. Tied a pan pallet, pimping, thirty dollars in the stove. <laughs> thirteen dollars at Walmart. I'm gonna use all of it though, cause I'm pretty sure when I go back to my truck, it's probably then dropped a good five gallons underneath the hood since the oil pan stripped. Probably what's going on. Guess I'll talk to y'all for a second. I'm sitting here right here. How y'all doing on this beautiful Sunday? I need a haircut, don't I? Thinking about growing it back out. What y'all think? Should I grow my hair? Comment down below. Should Andrew grow his hair? Out? It's gonna be winter time, so if I do decide to grow my hair, out, I'm gonna have a hat on anyway. But it's all even. All the way around. Just need to find somebody who can uh, either braid it or do twist. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure now. I've been debating. Do I want to buy a Corvette Stingray? Been debating. Been talking to the people around me. I'm like, hey man, I want to go over here, buy this Corvette Stingray, cash of course, and uh, a couple of people said, no, everybody said don't do it, that's what they said. They said don't do it, but um, think about it is, you know, first year in business, it would be nice for me to tell people that, you know, hey, my first year in business, I bought this Corvette Stingray, I bought another truck, I rebuilt the engine over there, you know, that type of stuff, and uh that would be nice. That would be nice. Um, 
truck prices are still kind of high on Facebook Marketplace. So, you know, getting a third truck, not really interested. Um, buying another pneumatic trailer, not really interested. You know, um, buying a different type of trailer, don't want to pay the prices. I really just don't want to invest no money in a truck, at least not right now. Or just take what I got, because I'm not even using what I got right now, man. Like I said, I got a whole blue truck with a C15 engine rebuilt, top to bottom, uh, spec'd out everything you need on now. I ain't even, I ain't even took a load with it yet. I just got the license plate for it the other day. I ain't even took a load for it. Oh, that fire still going over there. Don't it smell good? It's just talking right now. We ain't put no meat on that yet, just yet. We ain't put no meat on that, but I want to go get my car out of Streetport. Bring it back here. You know, I got a challenge out there in Streetport. Uh, pretty much abandoned out there. So I need to go get that, bring that back. Tomorrow, we still got the account with the people. I sent them an email today to ask for a rate increase of about $500. You know, uh, I don't really like the rate, the rate that they gave us for the lane. After I fit, found out, you know, what all we got to do. Justin ran the lane. He was giving me feedback about how it is, how's the lane. How the ship is, how to receive is. The ship is pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty much in and out the receiver. The receiver is simple too, but the mileage, the driving, the mileage is, uh, of course, uh, it's just not there according to the rate that we got. So uh, I need to go back in now and uh, charge them for fuel, 500 more dollars. I already sent that email. They're going to respond and say no because obviously we already took it for the rate that we got now. So what's going to end up happening is we just ain't going to show up at all. I'm at the house. I'm at the house. So, uh, and everything is paid for. So, um, you know, I agreed to take three loads. We took the three loads. That was for obviously the week that just passed. We took three loads. This is a whole new week. We ain't, we ain't scheduled no loads. We ain't scheduled no trucks. They need us though. We don't need them. They need us. Really, they, they, they don't even, nobody need nobody, if you ask me. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, I'm going to get back on this grill, and I'll hit y'all back in another video. No, actually, I won't hit you back in another video. I'm going to hit you back in the same video. I'm going to put this food over here on this, uh, this trailer right here. So, let's go do that. I'm going to go get some food. I don't even know what I'm cooking. putting this aluminum foil across here but you can do it though you know i rather just put it right there on the you know, right there i need the lines on the food but you know other people do it other ways i don't know about this aluminum foil though we can, we can make it happen though Ooh, that's sun good god hold on now we can make it happen it, it, this, the aluminum foil that ain't that ain't my idea that ain't my idea but i don't know what we're cooking so it might be necessary we're gonna find out hold on we got a lot of wind at some Where's the food? It is corn, right? Yeah. Oh. You gotta fit all the water. So you can put them close to the gather? Yeah. Where's the rest of the food at? I'm gonna see if it's closed. Gotta get that temperature up now. I'm gonna close there. Let that temperature start rising now. See that right there? See that temperature start rising right there? Got them vents open? Got to hide them vents open, man. You need that air flowing through there. That air is what's gonna keep. Look at that right there. That air right there. That good air flow. That's what's gonna get that temperature up right there, these drivers. He's going to keep that fire burning. Yeah, let it get on up there. Look at that right there. Now, look at that fire right there. We got Andrew on the grill today. Andrew is on the grill today. All right, I guess they just want corn and hot dogs. That's all they brought me. Hot dogs on there, then. That's what y'all want. 
Let's close it right back up. Corn and hot dogs it is. I don't know what happened to the real meat. Let's get that temperature back up now. Let's get that temperature back up there. Oh, let's get that temperature back up there. Yeah, it's rising now. I guess that's all they want, y'all. Corn and hot dogs. I don't know what's up with that. I thought they were going to bring some chicken, some steak, something. They come out here with some hot dogs. I don't know what's going on out here. Y'all, it's all good, though. Man, oh, we got some backup injectors, man. Uh, did I show y'all the backup injectors? I need to send these injectors out. These for the cat engine right here. Well, I don't want to unwrap them. I get oil all over my hands and stuff. We got that old, got the old uh, harness, the uh, injector harness right there. Y'all know we replaced that too. But um, I need to send this box out to uh, Rochester Diesel over there on the East Coast. So they can rebuild them injectors right there and do something special to them, you know. Do something special to them injectors and hide them as backup. In case I blow an injector, which is kind of, you know, unlikely, of course. But, you know, at least I have some backup injectors. Let's check that temperature. We're still rising. Got it up to about 200 and climbing. Mm-hmm. A little bit more airflow right in now. All right, all right. Damn, that cold all over my mother. Hold on now. All right, man. Get the airflow going right there. All right. All right, there we go now. All right, now. We get that temp up right there. Okay. Hold on now. Smoking up the whole neighborhood. Now get that airflow going. You see that right there? That's how the neighbors gonna smell it right there. You gotta open that airflow, man. They can't smell it. Yeah, they, yeah. I mean, come on now. When they step outside, they need to know somebody out here grilling. We need that smoke to go about 10 miles. Gotta have that airflow. 10 miles. That corn gonna take probably about 45 minutes, hour plus. Something like that. We'll check out in a few.